Greetings, explorers. And welcome to the range, where we're going to be breaking down various weapons, tools, and mechanics of the game's sandbox. Today, we're talking all things 357, both the caliber and the guns, or in this case, gun, that utilizes it. 357 or 357 Magnum is a pistol caliber round created in 1934 by Smith & Wesson as a direct competitor to Colt's 38 Super. Derived from the 38 Special, the 357 Magnum is a much harder round than its predecessor due to it being designed to use smokeless powder instead of black powder, along with a slightly longer case length. 357 is fairly exclusive to revolvers due to the pressure it produces and the dimensions of the case, with very few exceptions which makes this game's choice of a 357 gun a rather odd one. Before we get into that, however, let's go over the ammo. There's only two types available. FMJ, which will output 100% damage, have a 90% chance to penetrate armor, and will cost you 350 for a box of 25 rounds. Copper hollow points, on the other hand, will lower your damage by 20%, lower penetration chance to only 50%, and will run you 250 for 25 rounds. Clearly, this is the cheapo ammo option. Something I just wanted to point out is that 357 Full Metal Jacket and 9x19mm Overpressure will have the same cost per round, but you're getting around 50 to 20% more damage per shot, depending on the 9mm gun used, which is an undeniably better value. Moving on to the only gun of the game that currently uses the 357 Magnum round, the Desert Eagle. Few guns are as iconic or unique as this one. Although it's famously chambered in the 50 Action Express round, the largest to be used in a self-loading pistol, the one in-game is the 357 variant. Designed by Magnum Research in the early 80s, it has a gas-operated rotating bolt system that is incredibly unusual for a pistol to use, and actually functions more like a rifle in its design. Due to this, it can fire rounds that produce much higher pressures while still retaining the benefits of a self-loading pistol. Seriously, if you've ever taken apart an AR pattern rifle for cleaning, the bolt on this thing is going to look very familiar to you. In game it has a weight of 1.8 kilograms, a mag size of 9, and a damage per shot of 100, the highest in the game as far as pistols go, unsurprisingly. It has a thumb safety near the rear of the slide. All pistols in the game have a fairly similar recoil behavior, with this one being the outlier. It kicks pretty hard, so it's difficult to get fast follow-up shots. From 100% to 50% durability, it'll take around 23 mags, or 207 shots. While this may look bad compared to other pistols, due to the overall fewer shots you'll be taking, it pretty much evens out. The sights are a bit obstructive, and overall have a tendency to hit low from my experience. It will cost you $5,500 from the Vano shop. It comes with a B rail and an S rail by default, so you don't have to worry about dumping extra money into the upgrade for it. For upgrades, this gun only offers statistical benefits. Plus 15% reliability for 600, minus 20% recoil for 750, and plus 10% accuracy for 550. If you want one, unfortunately, it must be bought through Vano. Overall, it's a little hard to rate as it sits in a category by itself, somewhat isolated from its peers. On one hand, you get a lot of raw firepower and good ammo per shot cost. On the other, it lacks overall versatility of, let's say, the M9, with its ability to be suppressed, high mag capacity, and quick follow-up shots. As fun as it is to use, its high cost of entry and overall comparable effectiveness to the other pistols land it with a 7 out of 10. Honestly, part of me wants to lower it to a 6, but I like it too much to do it that dirty. And that's it. As of the current version, the Desert Eagle is the only 357 gun. I suspect we will get another one at some point. With it being 357, it would likely be a revolver, which would be a great addition to the game. I'm not sure what revolver specifically should be added, as there aren't really any produced by Russia. The MP412 Rex may be, but I doubt it considering it was made for export and never actually entered production. Perhaps the Turkish SR38? I think it would make sense. About as much sense as a Desert Eagle, at least. Also, here's an idea. Add a revolver to the game, add 38 Special, and make those early game obtainable so you have a cool pistol alternative without giving the player the full power of the 357 round. The only issue that would create is that the Desert Eagle can't cycle those rounds properly. I guess they could give it a 100% probability to jam while using 38 Special in a Deagle. Then again, maybe that's a little too far. Still, I think the general idea is worth exploring and can add some greater variety to the early game.
All in all, it's a good late game contender for your sidearm slot, even if it is teetering the line of impracticality. With any luck, this highly iconic round will get some love and be expanded upon in the future. Until next time, explorers.